Doctor Strange is gearing up for another mind-bending adventure in the highly anticipated Doctor Strange 3, Time Runs Out. After the jaw-dropping events of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, fans are left with burning questions about the fate of Stephen Strange and the unraveling multiverse. As we look forward to the next chapter in the Sorcerer Supreme's journey, let's explore the intriguing details and potential storylines that might unfold in Doctor Strange 3. In 2022, Marvel Studios treated us to the much-awaited sequel, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Picture this. Our favorite neurosurgeon turned mystical maestro, Dr. Stephen Strange, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, embarks on this wild adventure that goes beyond the usual Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's diving into uncharted territories, exploring new and risky alternate realities of the multiverse to tackle some serious threats. Now the movie wraps up with a real nail-biter. Imagine Dr. Strange strolling down the streets of New York, all cool and collected. But then, out of nowhere, he hits pause. Looks like he's feeling some serious pain and bam, a third eye pops up on his forehead. Talk about a cliffhanger, right? And just when you thought you couldn't handle more suspense, a post credit scene drops a bomb. Enter Clea, a sorceress we never knew existed, played by Charlize Theron. She's on a mission, blaming Doctor Strange for stirring up some kind of trouble, and she's not shy about asking for his help before vanishing into a portal headed straight for the Dark Dimension. Crazy, huh? Since then, fans have sought clues as to where Doctor Strange's next live-action appearance could be. However, as we traverse through the multiverse saga and are en route to the next Avengers projects, Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars, films whose working titles we recently reported on, fans are curious as to whether or not Strange could get one more solo outing before stepping up to the plate and taking on the incoming Council of Kangs. And if this tidbit is to be believed, we may have just found our answer. So here's the scoop from Insiders. Marvel Studios is eyeing elements for the Time Runs Out comic event for Doctor Strange 3. Imagine the film kicking off right where Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness left us hanging, with Clea making her way from another dimension to find Doctor Strange and get his help in fixing the mess he caused. Now here's where it gets interesting. Our sources spill the beans that Doctor Strange is now on the radar of a multiversal crew known as the Black Priests. And guess what? Clea is part of this mysterious organization. Their headquarters? It's in the nothing space of destroyed universes. Yeah, that's a space sandwich between two dead universes thanks to an incursion. In the movie, we'll find out that the multiverse is in bad shape. It's on the decline. The root cause of this decline is the ongoing incursions all across the multiverse, with the latest one stirred up by none other than Doctor Strange. The film will also dive deeper into a point raised in the last movie about Doctor Strange posing a threat to the multiverse. The previous film, thanks to Christine Palmer 838's research, made it crystal clear that Stephen Strange is a big deal when it comes to endangering the multiverse. However, they didn't exactly spell out why he's such a menace apart from what Strange 838 uncovered. The upcoming sequel aims to shed light on this by establishing Steven as a common factor in the incursions happening throughout the multiverse, alongside the primary threat of the Council of Kangs. While the movie will confirm that the decay of the multiverse is mainly due to the incursions caused by the Council of Kangs, it's still up in the air whether the film will introduce a Kang variant or straight up reveal the source of this decay. Our insider hinted that the movie would set the stage directly for the upcoming Avengers films. However, that's not the only story that fans want to see. There is more content to adapt from, so let's go over it. The first one is Strange Tales. In Doctor Strange number 13 from 2016, there's a crucial detail about Stephen Strange's backstory that didn't make it into the 2016 Doctor Strange movie, the tragic drowning death of his sister Donna. While it might seem like a small detail, it could be a sneak peek into the future of the franchise. Now, this isn't a direct adaptation of a specific comic arc, but it's a clear nod to the comic book roots making their way onto the big screen. Fun fact, Scott Derrickson, the director, always had a hankering to bring Nightmare into the Strange franchise. And let's be real, Nightmare is a heavy hitter among Strange's adversaries, yet to grace the cinematic stage. The movie could delve into Strange battling nightmares of failing to save his sister, all orchestrated by the Lord of Darkness himself. Some parts of the film might even take us to the Dream Dimension, 
where the Nightmare Realm, ruled by Nightmare, is a fascinating corner. Oh, and we might get a glimpse of Sleepwalker too. It's a chance for Sam Raimi to keep those mind-bending visuals rolling, building on the craziness he served up in Multiverse of Madness. Now, let's dive into Marvel graphic novel number 49, Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom Triumph and Torment. Imagine if Marvel Studios decided to adapt this graphic novel for Doctor Strange 3. It would need some serious groundwork, but the payoff could be monumental. In Triumph and Torment, Doctor Strange joins forces with one of the most formidable sorcerers in the Marvel Universe, Victor Von Doom. Picture this, the two good doctors, Strange and Doom, embark on a journey to hell to free Doom's mother's soul from the clutches of Mephisto. Setting this up would require some careful planning, especially since Doom hasn't made his debut in the MCU yet. Marvel Studios faced a similar challenge with the Fantastic Four, ensuring their version of Doom stood out from previous portrayals. One way to achieve this is by exploring the mystical side of Doom's character, an aspect often overlooked by previous adaptations. Doom's origin story, refined over the years in the comics, is a rich narrative that deserves to be told. Marvel Studios could even use a D-plus series as a precursor to the film, delving into Doom's background. While those who skip it might miss a few details, a brief explanation at the start of Doctor Strange, Triumph and Torment could suffice. Given that Benedict Cumberbatch might not be in the MCU forever, this could be the golden opportunity to team up with two major mystical powerhouses. With this, let's switch things up and talk about Doctor Strange and the Defenders, specifically the Defenders number 3 from 1972. I'll never get tired of seeing the original comic book Defenders lineup make their way to the big screen. By the time the third Doctor Strange film hits theaters, the trio that kicked off the Defenders in the early 70s will all have made their MCU debut. And guess what? Namor is set to make his first appearance in Black Panther Wakanda Forever later this year. Clea and Valkyrie, who are also frequent members of the non-team, are already in the mix, leaving only the Silver Surfer as a well-known member yet to hit the scene. Now, if Sam Raimi comes back for the third film, adapting the original Defenders arc would be a breeze. This storyline spread across issues of Doctor Strange, Submariner, and the Incredible Hulk would be a perfect fit. It would give Raimi a chance to play with Lovecraftian concepts that inspired him in projects like Within the Woods and were revisited in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. In this arc, the Defenders unite to combat an invasion of the Undying Ones, a bunch of ancient demons existing between worlds and serving the Nameless One. Adapting this storyline could also pave the way for Raimi to introduce the MCU's version of the Necronomicon, acting as a bridge from Strange to Namor. Who knows, maybe Namor's people have a history with either the book or the Undying Ones themselves. Well, that marks the end of this video. Let us know your thoughts on the future of Doctor Strange and his role in the impending collapse of the multiverse, as well as your thoughts on other Marvel projects. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one.